Coming up next is in-depth news analysis. You are now listening to Korea 24 on KBS World Radio. Forty-one years ago today, student activists in the southwestern city of Gwangju stood up to the military junta led by Chun Duhuan and faced a violent crackdown that left hundreds dead. It also left painful scars on Korean society as it fought towards democracy. Those in Korea who lived through those days have noted the chilling echoes being seen in Myanmar. Currently, President Moon Jae-in expressed such sentiments today, saying that Korea is seeing yesterday's Gwangju in today's Myanmar. It's now been over 100 days since the Myanmar's military took power in a coup. More than 700 people have been killed by security forces. The U.S. and the international community responded Monday with fresh sanctions. But is it enough? And are there lessons that can be learned from Gwangju as well? For today's In Depth, I'm honoured to say that we have joining us now Cho Mo Tun, a Myanmar's ambassador to the United Nations, who has bravely spoken out against the military junta. Although the army leaders tried to fire the ambassador, he is still recognised by the UN, and he joins us today via video online. Ambassador, thank you for making the time to speak to us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me to this program because it's very important. It's as you rightly mentioned about this, uh, uh, the 40, 41 anniversary of Guangzhou. It is very important for the history of, uh, of South Korea. So the it rightly mentioned that, you know, the experience that we are having is the experience that you, you, you had in 41, uh, uh, 41 years ago. Thank you so much for in, in, inviting me to this book. Ambassador, can you bring us up to speed on the current situation in Myanmar first? How has the situation developed in recent weeks? Uh, uh, the situation back home in Myanmar, I should say it is horrible. Uh, it is horrible uh, because as you know, many uh, many people being killed. So now, up, uh, up to date, uh, more than 800 people being killed. Uh, people feel very helpless. Now, as you know, you know, since in the first of February, uh, uh, in the first week of uh, February, he, ma many of us, the, the millions of people, came up on the street uh, and joined the peaceful against the military, uh, demanding for the end of the military coup. Uh, 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 and uh, end of the military regime, and uh, release of the you know our leaders, the Aung Suu Kyi, President Wu Win Yin, and other and lawful detainees, and the uh, 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 restore the democracy in Myanmar, and to bring the state power back to the the people. This continued demand is you know uh, persist uh, persistently uh, uh, calling for by the people of uh, Myanmar. But the brutality and the inhumane act by the military is still continue. So that is why, you know, more than 800 people being, being murdered, thousands of people being, uh, arrested, arbitrarily arrested, and many people being tortured. Uh, it's, it's very, uh, heartbreaking, uh, to see this kind of situation back home in, in, in Myanmar. So at, at, uh, at this point, the situation back home is quite uh, worrisome and very horrible. As you know, uh, last, uh, last, over the last week, uh, the, uh, the, the, the situation in Mindek, as you know, the, uh, the military even used the, you know, the attack helicopters. Uh, and then shoot the, uh, 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 the, the, the Mindat town with the heavy artillery and even, uh, the military use the human shield, uh, uh, when they attack, uh, the, the town Mindat. So it's, uh, it, it's not only in the Mindat, but also in the, you know, all over the country in Myanmar, the brutality, uh, the, uh, the inhumane act of the military is, you know, uh, continue. So that mm. is why people, uh, or us, uh, now de defend our, uh, defending ourselves. You know, we use all possible ways and means to defend by ourselves. You know, because uh, today, this morning, I deliver a statement, uh, uh, at the UN General Assembly plenary meeting on the responsibility to protect 
so in, at, at, at the meeting also, you know, I, uh, I, I stress that, you know, the internet, uh, the, the, the national unity government and the people ourselves, uh, 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 take the principle of respons responsibility mm. to protect and we defend, uh, ourselves, uh, for, uh, for defending, uh, uh, our own people. Uh, so at the same time, we, we, we call for the international community to, to take the, uh, the responsibility to protect, to, uh, to protect the people of, of Myanmar. So the situation in, in, in short, the situation in Myanmar is getting worse day by day and is horrible. Right. Thank the you. situation is dire and sadly it continues uh, to escalate. Uh, meanwhile, the international outcry continues as well. The United States, the United Kingdom and Canada on Monday imposed a new sanctions targeting Myanmar's junta and key officials. Ambassador, what did you make of these uh, new sanctions? Yeah, uh, I thank uh, the, you know, those countries who, who, who impose sanctions against the military regime. So it's, uh, it's, we, 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 we kept, we, we, we keep asking for the related targeted and tough sanction. So it's a, if you see that you know they listen, they hear us, they listen to uh, to, to to the people of Myanmar, and it is the coordinated way that they they have uh, they impose the uh, the sanction. It is very important uh, uh, for uh, for for uh, for us. I mean the people of Myanmar as well as international community, but we still need stronger. Uh, uh, decisive and timely uh, action from the international community. We always stress that sanction alone, the statement alone is not enough uh, to stop the brutality, to stop the inhumane act committed by the military. While we are, th uh, we are thanking the, 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 the US, Canada and the, and the uh, United Kingdom uh, for or for or for the uh, their support or for their uh, their targeted sanction against the military, but we like to urge them, not only them but also the others, uh, to to come up with the strong and decisive action uh, to protect the people of Myanmar to save life for innocent civilians in, in Myanmar. Time is really of the essence for the people of Myanmar. Please do act uh, quickly and immediately and save the life of people of, of Myanmar. That is very important. Please use the principle of responsibility to protect, to save lives of innocent civilians in Myanmar. What kind of a strong action uh, would you like to see uh, be taken by the international community? Yeah, uh, as, as, as we, we, we like to get the, you know, the very strong action from the international community, uh, in, uh, especially by the U UN Security Council, uh, because this action is really needed uh, to stop the brutality, uh, 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 and the inhumane act of the, uh, of the military. So because these, uh, the, the, uh, we, we, we keep asking for the you know quite number of uh, of, of of points uh, uh, to to be uh, to be implemented uh, by the international community. Uh, for example, uh, we like to see the you know the strong resolution uh, from the Security Council. Uh, it's uh, the element uh, the uh, uh, the resolution should include the element. Uh, for example, the protect the people of Myanmar. From crimes against humanity, and and declare no mm. flying zone in relevant areas to avoid further bloodshed caused by the military airstrikes. In impose targeted, coordinated, terror sanction against the military and its businesses. Impose global em embargo against the military uh, because they are using uh, the weapon to kill the people of Myanmar. And then the freeze financial assets, the assets of the military and the individual members of the, of the military regime and cut off financial inflows into the military. Because we also like to seek the, you know, targeted sanction on the 
uh, 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 bank owned by the uh, military, like Nyawadi Inwar Bank, and then as well as the uh, Myanmar Foreign Trade Bank, MFTB, and the MOGE, the uh, uh, the oil and gas uh, sector, where mm. we, we we receive the you know revenue, uh, in financial inflow from uh, through the the this sector, and then also sus suspend foreign direct investment until democratically elected government is restored in Myanmar. And also, it's because at this time it's very important, as you know, because of the you know uh, uh, the uh, the attack by the military, a lot of people being displaced. So uh, provide humanitarian assistance to the people in need, and they provide shelter on humanitarian grounds to people uh, seeking refuge in neighboring countries and as well, and hold those responsible for atro uh, atrocity crimes uh, accountable and 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 finally uh, and that very importantly give recognition to the national unity government as a legitimate government of the people of Myanmar these are the number of the you know the points that we like to uh, uh, we like to mm. see you know the action from the interna mm. uh, international community in particular UN security Con council because we need uh, decisive action from the UN Security Council to stop uh, killing of people in Myanmar and to save lives of innocent civilians in Myanmar. Thank you. Ambassador, you've already said that you do see parallels uh, between the situation in Myanmar and uh, the May 18th Guangzhou democratization movement, where Korean citizens stood up against the military junta uh, by Chun Doo Hwan. Uh, despite that terrible incident, South Korea, of course, eventually achieved democracy in 1987. What lessons uh, do you think that uh, Myanmar can learn from the Guangzhou uprising? Uh, what do you hope that you can glean from that? Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, to be very frank, uh, I, I I don't know exactly uh, the, the 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 event of the Guangzhou, but, but I I learned uh, from the news because it is already uh, because of the anniversary. It's uh, quite a lot of news uh, appearing on the uh, on on the social media and the you know uh, uh, the the media uh, outlet. Mm. Uh, but what I see is that what we facing in the in in, in Myanmar is that. As again, time is really essence. And then also the situation that we faced in 1988 and, and now in 2021 is very different because of the, you know, the advancement of technology and the, uh, the, 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 uh, 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 uh the social media, uh, that we, uh, uh, really vibrant social media that we have at this point. So the uh, the authorities, uh, the military, they cannot hide anything uh, that, uh, that they committed uh, the uh, the human rights violations, uh, atrocities, and the possible crimes against humanity. So that these are the quite a, a strong tools for uh, for us. So we we keep on you know making uh, uh, the world know uh, for the you know the atrocity committed by the uh, the military. So, uh, so we cannot uh, uh, wait so long uh, to change the uh, uh, to change the uh, uh, the behavior of the military, but but with the help from the uh, the international community and then also with the strength by ourselves, strength from the within, uh, we definitely can change the behavior of the uh, the military mm. regime and and the bring the the state power back to the people. So we have to to continue. We 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 our people of Myanmar are really resolute and uh, perseverance. And as you as you 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 you, you were aware, uh, the 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 unprecedented that unity have we have among ourselves is really incredible. So we have to uh, to to keep ourselves stronger and stronger. Uh, 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 the, the, to fight the, our common enemy, that is the military. So we need to end the military, uh, mm. uh, uh, military coup and military regime as quick as possible. These are the, our wishes. 
these are the you know our determination and to end the military coup as quick as possible. That uh, again, in the essence, we cannot wait so long. Uh, we cannot take so long uh, mm. uh, because of the you know uh, uh, the casualty uh, that on the people uh, is very high. So we cannot lose any more sure. life of our civilians. Thank you. We are all certainly praying for uh, Myanmar and. Uh, we hope South Korea's journey to democracy can perhaps provide a sliver of hope for your people as well. Uh, we've been speaking to Myanmar's ambassador to the United Nations, Cho Mo Tun. Ambassador, thank you for your time today. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. And uh, I would like to end by saying that, you know, to save life of innocent civilian in Myanmar, I would like to Arch international community to act now, uh, to take the decisive action uh, uh, without delay. The military coup must fail. Democracy must prevail in Myanmar. Our fight will win. Yirobo, Aoyami. Indeed. Thank you once again, Ambassador. Thank you so much.